This weekend I went to Coachella for the first time in a helicopter. This is the story of how it happened. Saturday morning, Casey Neistat called me up and told me he was shooting a project at Coachella and he wanted my help on it. Coachella, everybody loves Coachella. Everybody in LA is gone right now because they are at Coachella. And when I say everybody, I mean everybody whose daddy can cut them a check big enough to actually stay in the city of Los Angeles for as long as they want is at Coachella right now. I myself have never been to the coach cause I'm from the ghetto. We don't know what this is. Casey said I should pack an overnight bag and that's all he told me. He asked me if I could make it to Santa Monica in two hours so I could make their flight. I of course said yes. 53 minutes later, I was at this beautiful hotel in Santa Monica. I'd never seen a hotel that caught my eye like this. Historical landmark. Casey was really busy. He was editing videos on laptops and having important phone conversations with people on the phone. So he couldn't really talk. So I looked around and contemplated all of my emotions. I heard people talking about helicopters. Are you ready to go? Oh yeah, absolutely. Let's, go. We go. Let's do it right now. We gotta go. Wow, beautiful hotel. It is nice, right? Yeah, historical landmark. Did you just make that up? No, the guy told me when I walked in. So at this point, I'm sitting in the back of the car, hanging out, having a good time, wondering what it is that I'm here for. I still haven't been told. And then Casey decides to explain to me on camera. Well, I figure since I roped you into coming along and helping me make this video, while I explain it to the audience what we're doing, I can also explain to you what we're doing because I have not done that yet. At all. I like that we've gotten this far and I have no idea what we're doing. We're making a TV commercial for Samsung. They requested that it be shot only on the phone by creators and with creators. And where are all the creators right now? Like I said earlier, at Coachella. Does that work for you? Sounds great to me. That's a good afternoon. All right. All right. So before you know it, we're at some airport in Santa Monica that I never heard of, about to get in a helicopter to go to Palm Springs. Yeah, today's going a little bit different than I expected to, but I like it. I'm digging it. Ooh. Aeroplane. Where do you keep your plane? Oh, I keep my plane right around the corner, right over there, Van Nuys Airport. <laughs> he's, never been in a, he's never been in a rotorcraft before. Is this, it, shouldn't there be some rules, like I'll don't press the, something? Or? Yeah, I'll give you the brief. Okay. You feeling good, Will? Oh, yeah. Not scared at all. I'm feeling this real a lot, yeah. I've never been in a helicopter. Then Casey brought a pair that he actually plans to put in his body at some point during this trip. That amazes me. Okay, I've never been in a helicopter before because I'm smart. Why would you ever get in a helicopter? They're dangerous, they're terrifying. They've never put a helicopter in a movie unless it was getting blown up by something barely touching it or being shot by a Decepticon. So, this is my first time at the rodeo and I'm a little bit terrified right now. <laughs> I feel like somebody should be telling me the rules so I don't like get my head chopped off or something. Cool, thanks. Oh great, they give you a pamphlet. So this thing is starting up at a million miles a minute and Casey and Paul are just talking about life, not freaking out whatsoever. This is like Star Trek. If instead of being on their giant spaceship in the sky, they were on Earth trying to figure out how to be in a rotorcraft. Yeah, I learned that word today. This was an incredible experience for me. I'm amazed at how much being in a real life helicopter is like doing it in Grand Theft Auto. Paul is not super impressed. I'm about to cry. Notice I'm sweating. And then I realize what the hell was happening to me. That's your mama's house, right there, right there. And then we landed in Palm Springs without being attacked or exploded once, which is surprising because Casey had the all spark in his backpack. Now we're in Palm Spring. Thank you. I've never been to Palm Spring. So now that things have calmed down, I thought this would be a great time to freak out. I'm dead. And then we got into our car, and then we were really in Palm Spring. Is this big enough for you, Paul? Or uh, <laughs> I think it works. You want Will and I to get our own lift? <laughs> <laughs> You guys are gonna enjoy the show, man. Oh, thanks. I hope My so. He said, "Hey, I got a wristband for you if you want." I'm like, "Dude, I'm working. Don't even tell me that." <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> then we caught up with David Dobrik and all his friends. They were absolutely hilarious. For some reason, Casey insisted on directing this scene from on top of a cooler. I was worried about his safety, his insurance policy, and if I was on it yet. He got down safe. 
And then before you know it, it was nighttime and Coachella time. It turns out they actually don't let you bring cameras in there. So the rest of this, I shot on my phone. Hello, I am having a great time here at Coachella party. <laughs> and the reason they don't let you bring a camera in there, I believe is because Coachella is run by the government or aliens. And that's why it's this heightened experience and people can't explain it because you can't film it. The government is ahead of us in technology. Anyway, trust no one because everyone is too nice. So first off, Casey and I are in the shindig and then the gas that they secretly spray on you, it started to work on me. <laughs> and then there was this huge concert for someone I've never heard of and it was awe inspiring. Then there were these crazy giant creatures that were incredible. Then there were these beautiful digital fireworks that turned out to just be drones, millions of drones. Then we went to the black eye section and Casey danced to bitch I might be. Bitch I might be. Then whatever it is that they put inside the drinks started to kick in. Then Lady Gaga did the most I'd ever seen in my life. What an entrance. I got to the point where I'd had enough. My body is dead at this point. And then Casey and Paul insisted we go to the Neon Carnival. It was pretty lit. Like literally, really, really lit. This girl is dressed like somebody's fever dream. It was great to be around zero children, I hope. And then it started pouring water from the ceiling, but it was just Casey. Okay, is it just me or is this ride going a little fast? Is there regulations on this? And then they started playing my copy written jam. So I had to do my new dance moves that I'm working out. It's new. And then we waited 10 years to get an Uber, 10 years. And before you know it, it's three or 4 a.m. I've never been this tired in my life. But before you know it, I'm back in the airport the next day. Casey and I gotta get on our helicopter back. I'm pretty sure we were supposed to leave at nine, but Casey's not here. I'm a little scared. I don't really look like I belong here. I wonder where he was at. I wanna grab a light, nutritious breakfast before I, uh, before I go to the airport. Now 7-Eleven apple fritters, they're not on my diet. I had some cookies that were surprisingly warm and gooey. How many of those cookies have you eaten? One, and it was really good. <laughs> so, something happened in our helicopter, maybe because we were late and stuff, but we got to go in a jet. The weather's good, might be a little bumpy on the way out of here, but smooth ride over there. Wow. So I've never been on a plane like this before. I'm super excited. This is that Casey Neistat stuff that happens to you. Haven't stopped in a year yet. Got a plot, we can change this. Rise and grind, private jet. On my mind, making it. Is this the Casey Neistat lifestyle? Am I too old to get adopted? This aircraft had a lot of rules, which I'm very down for. The emergency exits and the pressurization. Two doors on the aircraft for emergency exits. By this point, I am emotionally exhausted. What a weekend. I never thought any of these things would even happen to me anytime soon, but it did in real life. Uh, uh, oh. Yeah, I think I'm used to this. This is my life forever. <laughs> Thank you. See you again soon. All right. And that was my trip to Coachella. Later on in Casey's hotel room, he had me stripped down. Drop your pants for Casey Neistat. For reasons. But that's a different story. <laughs> to go to Palm Springs. I keep saying it like that. And it's like uh, in a, uh, what's the movie where he's, he's so gross? James Franco, he's like a uh, spring break. <laughs> spring break. Spring break. I hated that. Spring break. <laughs> 